You know what's really common? When art teachers in either junior high or high school for whatever reason have this absolute burning hate for anime style art. I have met so many art teachers throughout my teenage years that would always go really snobby like... <laughs> anime! <laughs> it's not even real art, Harold. Thanks, Th thank you for that. And whenever I heard this as a young and developing kid who was interested in art, whose primary inspiration was anime, that was just discouraging. Why would you be an art teacher if you're going to do that? They're terrible people! I know, right? As a medium of entertainment, anime has always been one of my holy grails. It can be either funny or inspiring, heartfelt or relatable, but regardless, at its core, it's just downright entertaining. And in a lot of cases has even helped me connect with others and make a lot of new friends. So you already know I got a rep represent my boy, anime. I couldn't just let some random art teacher talk that smack about my favorite thing. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't just talk back to these teachers the way that I wanted to, <coughs> be because that would probably get me multiple detentions. <coughs> anime! Stop! Please! Just stop. Eat a dick. But luckily, in my senior year of high school, this continuous streak of close-minded teachers finally came to an end. I got two new art teachers. One, who encouraged me to draw anime while also developing my technical skills, and the other was just a straight-up weeb, which was fantastic. Now, they both had really similar hard-to-pronounce European last names that started with D, so my classmates and I called them, because of their height difference, Big D and Little D. Probably two of the most ridiculous names I've ever had for teachers in high school. On an everyday basis, you would probably hear something like this. Um. Yo, Little D, is it cool if I paint with acrylics today? Dude! Yeah. Sick. However, before I actually got to know my cool new teachers on a personal level, at first I was very skeptical. So one day I was working on a drawing in class and it was of my boy Trafalgar Law from One Piece and Little D is walking around the classroom and I noticed she then makes eye contact with my drawing and I was like, oh boy, here we go. She's gonna walk over here and look at my drawing and be all like, Ugh! Anime isn't real art, Errol. You need to make real art. But no, surprisingly, that didn't happen. She walks over to my desk and goes, hey, that's really good and really familiar, actually. It sort of looks like it's from One Piece. W wait, you're, you're cool with this? Yeah. Art teacher that recognizes anime, that likes and respects anime, and most surprisingly, she's not totally shitting on my genuine interest and wants to encourage me as a young artist? Amazing! My perspective was totally flipped. But then I thought at that point, oh wait, maybe she just has a younger brother or something that's into anime? She just knows about it. It's no big deal. But luckily, I was wrong again. It turns out that Little D was a huge fan of anime and comics. So every day I'd walk into class with a new anime drawing and every time Little D would be like, Oh my god, is that One Piece? Oh my god, I love One Piece. I didn't watch up to this part yet, but you know what? This guy looks sick! Oh my god, I love Naruto. Oh my god. Mm, okay, okay, Sasuke, you know, kind of cool. Kind of looks like a giant bit attack on Titan, right? Yeah, have you watched it already? Dude, do you remember that scene? They were like flying in the air and stuff and doing flips and cutting up Titans really fast and we're like Aaron's yelling and Mikasa was being hot Levi short and there was epic music and I was like, Little D was such an encouraging person and those moments to me as a young artist were so important. It just made me excited to keep on creating new art. Not to mention, I got free candy and would get to skip class because <laughs> I was cool with my teacher. <laughs> I mean, who said that? Overall, Little D was definitely an MVP hype woman in the encouragement department. Every day, you would see her going around the classroom talking to the other students in a hyperactive, supportive fashion. Dude, are you painting today? Painting is sick! What? Watercolor. Y yeah. M more like... <laughs> no, Little D, no, please. What are no. you... No. no what are God. you painting today? No. <laughs> <laughs> when I meant supportive, I, I meant corny jokes too, but... Eh. Same thing, right? <laughs> What are you painting? <laughs> I'm so funny. And she would also do this thing where whenever she saw a student drawing anything anime or comic related, she would go over to the desk and be like, Hey, nice drawing, Thank nerd! You. The joke being, of course, that she also, too, was a huge nerd. Anyways, another day, we were playing music on the speakers in class, like usual, regular, popular radio stuff, pretty cool. Then Little D gets this look in her eyes and she says, Uh, y'all mind if I play something a little... Different? And I was very curious, maybe a little concerned too, as to what her definition of what a little different was. So of course, she then looks at me from her desk, and a few seconds of silence, and then...
So for all of my non-anime watchers, she would basically play the opening theme songs for animes on the speakers. Which I thought was hilarious. She also occasionally played Nightcore, which is basically just taking a song and making it like twice as fast so that the singer sounds like a high-pitched anime girl and people think it sounds good. <laughs> Don't worry, I I don't I don't get it either. <laughs> uh, sounds like this. Guys, guess what I'm about to play. Oh my god, please no not again. Up until that day, never thought I would get to listen to anime openings during class, out in the open, and at school. Whenever someone asked me about my interests, I'd always say um I I like I like TV shows. Yeah, t TV shows. <laughs> uh in order to disguise my weeaboo life struggle. But that topic will be reserved for its own entirely different video. So yeah, the Attack on Time music was playing, and this was also funny because all of the people in class who didn't watch anime were like, uh, good god, what is going on? Little D was 10 out of 10 cool. We would talk about anime and comics, sometimes we would share music videos and stupid pictures with each other, I shared more music, she would show me Shia LaBeouf memes because it was 2015, and one of the coolest things that she enjoyed talking about, the anime and comic convention she would always attend. She would show me a bunch of different pictures and I would just sit there. Stunned. Dude, do you want to see my Captain America shield? Dude, do you want to see the whip that I made for my Catwoman cosplay? Um, the latex is really tight, but you want to see the whip? Dude, do you want to see me and my friends dress up as the Avengers? Oh my god, my friend looks so good as Wonder Woman. She is so tall. Oh my god. Teachers can be cool? At one point, she even gifted me a few posters and an art book when she was at another comic convention in another city, and that was so unexpected. Little D in my head was already of legendary status, but after that, she basically became the trip triple cool, d double, double legendary. Basically, I only have good things to say about Little D. Wrapping things up here, semi-moral of the story, you make or appreciate whatever art makes you happy. Don't let anyone tell you that a certain style or genre is of less value than another. If it makes you happy, then that is all that really matters. And if they disrespect anime, that's when you pull out your katana and you... In another video, I'll talk about my other art teacher, Big D, who was equally cool and terrifying in her own ways. But until then, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. I am cheering you on in whatever you're doing at this point in life, and uh, yeah. Peace.